<clears throat> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, here in the UK it is midday-ish again. It's normally midday I get around to recording. Um, I made this a few weeks ago, I'll just quickly show you. Um, and I framed it, or oh, I don't know if you can see, it's not very good, there's a bit of a reflection on that. Um, how can I show it to you without, there we go, there. I made that a few weeks ago and framed it. Um, there's a woman that makes these on the internet, on YouTube. Um, I can't remember what her name is now, but if you type in wonky houses, uh, she will show you how to make them. And I like, I love them, I think they're really effective. Um, you've got your HTV vinyl in here as well, and so it's all glittery. Um, and then you've got little beads as well. I'm making them, and this is all done with felt. And yeah, I like it. I am quite pleased with that. So check that out because it's quite a it's quite an easy thing to do. Um, and that was actually done on a normal sewing machine with the free the freehand embroidery. Um, foot, okay. Okay, so uh, I have decided I am going to make a baby blanket, okay. And we're going to cut some of this. This is polar fleece here, okay. It's available in my Etsy shop uh, by the half a meter. So feel free to purchase some if you want to make one of these. Uh, I'm going to give this. A, I'm just going to quickly cut this. Okay, so I have got a piece of this polar fleece here, it's just white polar fleece, all right? Uh, I'm gonna start off with this. And um, this piece is about a metre by, let's have a look, just so you know. Um, it's gonna, I'm gonna sew it anyway, so it's gonna come out a little bit smaller. Uh, 50, 60, 75, so 75 um, centimetres by a Approximately a metre, okay? Excuse my tape measure, I cut into it. So, we're going to put a little bunny and a teddy on this. So, I'm going to hoop it up. I'm going to use some of this cutaway stabiliser on here um, because I'm going to put a backing on this. Get on with these for a minute. Okay, so we've got some cutaway stabiliser. Um, I'm going to pop that on my hoop there. I'm going to pop it. I want it to go down in the corner. I don't want it in the middle of the duvet, of the blanket, I don't think. And I want it to go, uh, let's think. I think I want the rabbit there and then you put the name, yeah, no, I'm going to do it that way so the rabbit can go there and then the name can go there if I decide to put a name in. So I'm going to pop that in the corner like so and I'm going to pop this on. I hate these hoops, just get on my blooming nerves. Okay, we're just going to undo that a minute and pop the hoop in there, okay, now I'm going to tighten my hoop up, uh, we want to push this down, so you've got a bit of a, le a ledge there, I don't know how much you can see there, I'm going to get my screwdriver, okay, so let's tighten these up a minute, Usually I would just do this on a t-shirt just to show you the design but I'm actually going to try and make a blanket with some of this polar fleece that I have. Um, I'll give it a go. Okay. Just tighten this up as well. Okay, let's just check that a minute. Right, I'm going to pull that tighter. 
just be gentle when you pull in with these hoops because it can come out if you're not careful. I'm not pulling the stabiliser, I'm just pulling the fabric. Okay, so we have it there. So we have our bunny design here. Now, I want to um, put uh, a name with this, but I want to turn the design around that way. Okay, so I'm just going to check my hoop size here. It's on a 300 by 200, and I have got my blanket on a see what it is, a 360 by 200. So, I want a uh, 360 by 200. Okay, um, there we go. Now I want to turn this, I want to flip this around, paint it the other way. Okay. Okay, so, I have purchased a font from Etsy called Sarah. Um, I've downloaded it to Embrilliance, which is a free version, okay, because I use it just for the text. Um, and to download it, I basically have to go into this little cogwheel here, click on that, and then you can import catalogues, okay, and search through your files that you've downloaded to your computer and put it onto Embrilliance. Um, so now I've got my um, granddaughter's name on there. I'm going to change this R here slightly. I want to lift the up. I want to lift it up a bit to match in with the um, A, the letter A. So if I lift that up slightly, there. That looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Okay, so we're going to leave that at that. Now I'm going to go to file and I'm going to save stitch file as and then I'm going to put in here Sarah font just so I know what to look for. Okay, so that's that. Now I'm going to go back to my P design and bring my teddy bear up. Here they are, the teddy and the bunny. And in here we are going to put the name Ariella. So I'm going to now import her name so we're going to go to the folders up here and bring down uh where are we we want it's all in my pictures actually so it's in documents okay so i've got my uh names up now i just need to find the correct font uh with ariella on it there it is in black down there. So that's going to bring that in. Okay. Now I want to make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do my usual trick of holding down the control key and bringing it. And I want to flip it around as well. So I'm going to rotate it and rotate it right. Okay, so now I need to just bring it down a bit, center it a little bit, there. Okay, now I think I might just make that a little bit smaller because it might hit the side of the, um, the side of the uh, hoop and I don't want that, right. Okay, so there we have it, okay? That's all done. I'm going to change the colours on the machine. So I'm going to put that now to my USB. So I'm going to send, and I'm going to go and get my USB out of my machine. Okay, so send to USB. Done. Right, that's all in. So we can go to the machine now. Right, we'll pop that in. Um, and bring our design up. Right, I don't know how much you can see here. Let's find our design. There it is. That one there. Okay, so that's all ready now to um, 
Well, we're going to have a play around with that now and find out what colours we want to do it. So, we're going to set it. Um, we're going to go into Edit End. Go to the colour change thing. And uh, I'm going to change all these for the relevant colours. Sometimes, like I said before, you can... Um, if you want to see where to cut easier, you might do a different colour to the fabric that you're going to use. So, I've got this stuff here, which I'm going to use for the teddy bear. And I'm going to use this like pink for the... Um, rabbit okay because i'll show you let me just sort this stupid camera out look at it honestly you spend all this money on a camera that's meant to be better than you know whatever and it's absolute cack so i've got some of my material sorted i am now going to put some of this heat and bond on my material in this to save I'm going to cut another piece. Yeah, that'd be alright. So if I use, do it like that, it should heat and bond it. Oh, we have got... Get our bits and pieces ready. I've got my little fabric, um, my little embroidery scissors ready to cut out my plique. Um, let's just check that. That should be done now. And then we'll pop this piece on as well. And do this. Okay, now we're going to peel this off. The amount of times I've forgotten to peel the paper off and, and gone and embroidered. <laughs> Absolutely not the right thing to do. Okay, so we've done that. There we go. Nice, that's one piece of fabric ready. Turn my heat press off because I don't want that left on. And we peel that piece off there. There we go. Okay, so we've got that ready. I think that's all I'm going to be using um, fabric wise. Let's come back over here. Now we're going to try and sort our colours out on our machine and see. There we are with this, right, okay, so, um, strange looking at it this way around. Uh, so, we've got, uh, like I said, we want to do that colour and that colour. Um, so, I think what I'm going to do is, uh... Right, the teddy bear's going to be, the pink. The pink's going to be for the bat bunny. So we've got the teddy bear, that's going first. So we want a, a white colour for that. So that's my number eight. So we're going to go for number eight. Do a stop. Number eight, do a stop. Number eight, do a stop. Right, our bunny is going to be in the pink. So I'm going to do that a slight... Um, <laughs> I don't know if I did, should do it in that pink or another pink. Uh, let me think. I've got two pinks over here. Um, like I say, I've got the that pink there and that pink there. And I've got this material here. So I don't know. I think the lighter pink would be better. But I want it to stand out. Um, shall I just go ahead with the bright pink? I'm going to go ahead with the br brighter pink. Yeah. Just go for it. If it turns out wrong, it turns out wrong. But we can come but try. So we're going to go for the number three. Um, three. Three again. I we'll must put our stops in as we go now. Three. All right. Now then, these are eyes and noses. We're going to go with black. Um, and the whites of the eyes. White. And then we've got a little pink nose for the bunny i'm going to go for a, i think i'm going to go for a shall i go for a darker pink yeah i think i will number four um and then we've got the pads of the feet uh on the bear right okay so i've decided to go for gray for his feet um and then the pads of the bunny's feet i'm going to go for uh i think i'm going to go for white yeah i'm going to go for white cause she's pink so we'll go for that one uh, and then the heart on the teddy bear. I think we'll go for the grey. Keep it all in keeping. So we'll go for grey because it's an it's an applique heart. 
we'll put our stops in as well okay um put our stops in there all right and number five then uh go for the gray again and then the whole outline of the teddy bear like we said we were going for um white wasn't it yeah and then we've got the bunny and she's going to be in that nice pink over there and then we've got the name and i think i'm going to do her name in um should i do it in that pink or another pink uh i think i'm going to do it in the bright pink so let's go for number four there i think i think i'm going to do it as that should i do it as that yes right okay so that's that done now i'm going to do a quick scoot around and make sure it fits in the hoops and make sure there's no jamming um because i am a little bit unsure how i have laid this i've laid it over the top rather than tucked it down so we'll have a look if i'll bring the camera back here and then we'll set that button going we'll do a quick scoot around the name so far so good yeah that's fine that'll be fine right okay so we are all ready to go so let's hit the go button shall we i think we've got everything ready yeah right let's go for it so uh everything's done always have to <laughs> always get paranoid that i haven't done something right let's unlock it let's go oh hang on a minute that thread's not doesn't look threaded up there that one there looks a bit loose well we'll see won't we Okay, so we've got our um, placement stitch, all right, and the teddy bear is first, so we're going to do him with this nice fabric here, and I'm going to lie it so that the pile goes down like that, and put that on there, there, okay. I'm not going to use any, um, you know, uh, water soluble as yet. Oh, 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 that was lucky. Let me just get that end bit there. Should have brought it down a little bit, but doesn't matter. Okay, now we're going to go and cut that out. Right, let's get this cut out now. Just get my big scissors to chop down there a minute. And try and get as close into the edge as you possibly can because then it will make it a lot neater. You can see so much of this. Can you see all right? This is uh, so far. Well, I won't. I won't speak too soon. I'll uh, give you my judgment of the design once I have completed it. Cutting fur on fur here, <laughs> fluff on fluff, and it's not the easiest. Maybe that's why I suppose I should use water soluble, but I haven't. Whether I try to make things difficult for myself, I don't know, but I get there in the end. Okay. 
think I'll probably speed this up a little bit. hoping that that's going to be neat enough looks all right now I'm going to pop that back on the machine okay I'm going to pop this back on the machine now when you're popping this back on the machine obviously be careful you want that this is how I've found it easier anyway to that way over there rather than jam down underneath um, there, so that can lie up there. Should be alright like that. We hope. Okay, so the next bit. Uh, there we go. Very hard to get in these little cracks there. might be better off to use some um, water soluble when you're doing these next bits simply because your I am at the minute cutting fur upon fur upon fur and it's not the easiest to do Okay, so a little bit in that little crook there that I want to, a little bit of piece here I want to get out. And there. 
obviously you've got to be very careful when you're going into these bits where you're cutting with your scissors because you don't want to cut the blankets or anything else that you shouldn't be cutting. Um, just tidy this up a tiny bit more. There. Right, okay. This stuff's so fibrous, like fluffy. Just be careful. There. Okay, right, I'm going to leave it at that and we'll just hope for the best. Alright? Now I'm going to pop that back on the machine. little problem like we always seem to get these problems and then let's have a look just quickly check my bobbins not out and it is so okay I'm gonna go and get myself another bobbin okay I use these pre-wound bobbins, okay, they're Madeira pre-wound bobbins, they're not the magnetic ones either. Um, there we go, just pop that in there. And then pop that back in the machine. Right, so... <coughs> Maybe I should have used some um, uh, water soluble over the top of this. What I might do <coughs> is go over it again just to make it stand out more. And I think I'm going to. So I'm going to stop it here. Well, actually, it's going to do the eyes for the bunny first. So I'm going to allow it to do that. Right, I'm going to stop it now before it goes any further, okay? And I'm going to go back because I want it to redo the nose and the eyes because I think I prefer it to 
to look a little bit better because at the minute it's like that can you see it's a little bit liney I don't know if that's because it's sunk into the fabric and disappeared or not so what I'm going to do and you don't have to do this this is just me um, doing what she does best redoing things so I'm going to go to this little needle thing here and then I'm going to go back okay to the previous thing so if I press that up there hang on there okay it's gone back now to this section here to start that again and if I press OK now it should I'm gonna press oh, and it should start that again now has it yeah see so it's gonna go over that again now um, I don't think it's gonna hurt to go over it might look better hopefully it will look better if you can see let's see if we can get you in closer I prefer that that's better now the stitches are actually sitting on top. And you can't really see the white fabric underneath. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot better, so I'm glad I did that. I can't wait to get this out and show everybody. I'm really looking forward to putting this out on Facebook and on YouTube. going for next so oh, the whites of the eyes I shouldn't have to do this twice now because that should sit nicely on top and it has so that's, that's great Okay, so we'll pop that back on the hoop.
some tape and just take that down a minute. Get rid of all the fluffy bits. Let's see how much you can see here. There. There we go. Right. Let's get rid of this. in my light now, right. There we go. I'm gonna pop that over here in a minute. Get away. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that, look. A couple of little snippets just to snip off there that looks pretty good oh that's really nice i love that how can you can you see much of that let's have a look yeah look at that look isn't that nice um so what i'm gonna do is i am going to get uh some of this fabric here all right i think that's gonna look okay um we want something that's in keeping with it actually there's a spotted material here let's have a look at this that's got rabbits on it um <laughs> i could use that because that would match with that there um what else have i got here i've got some that colour. No, I think that that there. <clears throat> but this is more like a this feels like a poly cotton. Yeah. But actually that looks what do you think? Do you think that one or that one? That's got a soft feel to it. And that matches this here. But I quite like the contrast of this with this here because what i'm going to do is i'm going to sew some on the back uh i'm going to sew some of this on the back of this to make it into a you know like a double blanket like there we go i think actually i quite like this because it does match that and it gives it a bit more i think i'm going to try some of that
blanket and I didn't really look up any patterns I just sewed a couple of pieces of fabric together and as you can see I opted for the spotty stuff to go with the lettering and I'm pretty sure my granddaughter will love that blanket um, it's not without its faults my sewing is much to be desired uh, it's not straight but the whole project really was all about that that is just lovely look at that isn't that cute oh i love it so i'm gonna give this a press and then i am gonna edit this video and pop it on to youtube look at that look it's nice like you. <laughs> i'll give you a close-up hang on there we go look Oh, it looks lovely. I'm glad I did double, I did this again. Um, and same with the nose and the eyes as well. It's uh, made it better. So, yeah, I do like that. I like the little grey heart there. And this font is rather nice as well. I do like that. It takes a long while to do these bits. I don't know why... The letter A is like that, but the rest of it's not. Um, although this here is a little bit, got a little bit of twisting in it. But yeah, no, it turned out pretty nice. I am very pleased with that. So that worked out pretty well, I thought. Um, I did like that design. So if you want to create it yourself, make it yourself, put it on a t-shirt, put it on a blanket, whatever. Feel free to check out the link below. It will be there. It's not my design, okay? But I know I'm in in contact with a woman that designs all these designs, if that makes any sense, okay? And yes, she actually lives in Australia. So, you know, I'm in the UK, she's in Australia, and we've sort of like become, I don't know, a little bit on the friend side, so to speak. Uh, but before I go, I would also like to show you some other things that I um, I like to watch other YouTubers uh, and mostly illustrators, okay, because I like illustrating myself. I have an iPad um, Pro, which is a, like a 12 and a 12.9 inch screen and it's a lovely, uh, nice, it's a nice size screen and it's ideal for drawing because I use the Procreate and I love to uh, design things on there but the thing is I haven't got much time to always do it there's so much else I've got to do uh, I've got to fit everything in I mean I have my granddaughter a couple of days a week and you know and then I've got my art and everything to do so it's very limited for time but I do watch a bit of YouTube when I get the chance and I like to watch somebody called Catnip. Uh, Catnip is Catherine okay and she uh, designs things like pin badges, beanies now with, uh, she does embroidered beanies and I think, oh, I was going to mention to her to see if she fancied, you know, I was going to try and recreate her gingy that she does, um, it's a little ginger and spice, in fact I'll show you this one here, look, it's one of her gingy and spice badges, can you see that all right? Yeah, um, and I, you know, I, I like to buy things off these people just to help like it I think it's it's nice to support people as well in what they do and that's one reason why I purchase all these sorts of things um catnip um at Christmas time I don't know if she's still got, got it in her shop now but sells this uh brittle wax melt and it is really really nice that's how much you get in a pack and I think that is fair for the price okay I do think that's very fair. Um, it's really nice stuff. I haven't used it on the wax, on the candle yet, on the wax thing, on the burner thing, because I just like smelling it out the packet. It smells, if I leave the packet open, I can smell it as soon as I come in the room. God knows what her office must have smelt like, her studio, when she got all this in, in a big box. I mean, it must have been lovely. That smells just like gingerbread cake. Or ginger oh it's just so lovely it smells good enough to eat but obviously you wouldn't want to eat that because it wouldn't taste very nice it smells very nice mine so that's catnip 
um and she does other ones as well candy candy cane lane or candy cane or something or other which i presume must smell like a bit like sweeties sweets candies okay so there's that um i also purchased some of her washi tapes as well see because i i've got a journal and i like to write in that when i get chance um and so i buy all these bits and pieces i've got stickers as well i do make my own stickers as well which i enjoy doing um and i bought some of her washi tape as well and i bought loads of her stickers um i just like i like all these little things so much thought gets put into making this stuff it's not like you go into a shop that's been factory made by the millions you know this is like well thought out stuff and it's it's just lovely i love it um so that's catnip um and then there's emily harvey uh, emily harvey e harvey art emily harvey and i've given her a little bit of my support as well by buying a couple of her pin badges um they're lovely really nice this one here it's got like an iridescent sparkle to it you nearly caught it there in the camera i don't know if you saw really nice um her stuff's lovely she does stickers and everything as well that was a little freebie that i got from her um one of her thank you cards uh this fizz and flourish i've bought stuff from her um her stuff's downstairs at the minute i bought a couple of stickers and some of her home handmade pat like um booklets that she makes really nice well made um and another one of my big favourites is Bailey J. Um, I think she's in Canada and I love I love some of her stuff. She is, she, I think she's got about one and a half million followers on YouTube. I'm not sure. I know it's in the millions anyway, but look at that. She designs all these sorts of things. This is from her calendar that she did this year, or sorry, last year, um, the end of. I didn't get this until this year, but... Um, it was 12 days of Bailey J and you got so many items, 12 actually, um, stickers, pin badges, uh, washi tapes. Um, some of you might think, why on earth do you want to buy all this stuff? But it's, it's preference, isn't it? I like it. You know, some of you might like it. These little pin badges, you know, you can put them on your bags or anything, but I like to keep them on the cards because I don't know why my husband thinks that I'm mad but and these little ac acrylic um key rings that she's made she's designed and even the thoughts gone into the little you know thing you've got a star there because it's like you know starry starry night and then you've got like a plant thing there a leaf there for that so that's that I'm probably babbling on now um so yeah so that's uh that was Bailey J. But yeah, feel free to check them out. Um I don't know what sorts of things you're interested in, but if you like stickers and pin badges and stuff like that, I can say Catnip is a good one to go to. She does some really lovely things. You've probably already heard of these people already, because they're quite popular on YouTube. Um Bailey J, um Emily Harvey or E Harvey Art, and Fizz and Flourish. She's a relatively new channel i think about five or six months in but she's you know she her her channel's building as well but yeah it's nice i think it's nice to support people um you know and i feel i've got support from others as well you know since i've been doing youtube i've had people purchase from my etsy shop and i am so appreciative of that it's really good it's brilliant anyway i'm gonna go i have gassed on enough now um and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would be great. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and go check out all the links down below because there are some uh, different links for different things. I think my art will be on there as well, my art page. And I'm going to go. Oh, um, before I go, I've also got a, I may as well mention it again, um, a Facebook group. And it's called Machine Embroidery and, with one of those ands, uh sewing community machine embroidery and sewing community um it's on facebook and i'll put the link down below as well feel free to join that because once you know well even now you can advertise your etsy shop on there you can advertise your youtube channel on there i don't mind okay i want to try and help you as much as i've had help from others but i think you know it's nice to be able to share all our um, ideas all our 
uh, you know, I'm going to shut up now because I've talked long enough. But feel free to join the group because the more we've got, the better it will be for everybody um, and share it around as well. Because then, you know, we could get people from all different kinds of genres. Is that the right word? Genres? Um, all different kinds. And then they might be likely to purchase from you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go and I will see you in the next video. So please give it a thumbs up and I will see you again soon. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.